when you look at the vestment, when you behold the vestment, it seems heavy. Mabigat po talaga yung damit ni Apo Bakit. And rightly so. Bakit ika, ika mo? Because perhaps it symbolizes that she carries along with her all our prayers, all our supplications, every burden that we carry, she helps us carry it in herself. As we fix our eyes into her loving face, may we also catch in her gaze her thoughts that her fiat, let it be done to me according to thy word, may also be our fiat that we may also realize that her instruction to the slave, to the servant at the wedding at Cana, do whatever he tells you to do, is actually her instruction to all of us, her children, to do the will of Jesus, our Lord. This is obviously an extraordinary fiesta of Our Lady of Manawag. But one of the blessings that COVID-19 has given us devotees of Our Lady of Manawag is the gospel that has just been read, the visitation. For many months, we were not able to visit Our Lady in her basilica. But because we were not able to visit Our Lady in her basilica, Our Lady has been visiting many barangays many villages, many towns, many parishes. As it were, we were like Elizabeth being visited by the Mother of God. Who are we to be visited by Our Lady of Manawa? The visitation of the Virgin Mary to her cousin Elizabeth was a celebration of miracles. On one hand, there is an old woman barren in her womb, who is with child. On the other hand, there is a virgin who is also with child. The two women are cousins. The two women were cousins and they greeted each other according to the account of St. Luke. We do not know what the Virgin Mary said to Elizabeth. We only know that she said something because Elizabeth said, The moment your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. And then the babies who were also cousins reacted to each other. It was a meeting of cousins who recognized each other. It was a meeting of relatives who recognized each other and there was jumping for joy. Who are our cousins? Our cousins are not just the children of our aunts and uncles. Our cousins are not just the grandchildren of our Lolo and Lola. Cousins are more than that. Who are our cousins? We are all brothers and sisters here. But we have other cousins, for example, Protestants, born-again Christians, who do not believe in the Virgin Mary, but they also want to be delivered from the pandemic. We share a common cousinhood, and it is deliverance from COVID. For example, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, who want peace for the whole world. We are cousins with them, because we, children of Mary, are also lovers of peace. We are cousins with those who believe in the sacredness of human life from the beginning of conception until natural death. We are cousins with those who believe in integrity in public office and are fighting corruption even if they are not members of the Catholic Church. We have many cousins brothers and sisters. We have very few cousins by blood, but we have many cousins by heart, 
We have many cousins by dreams. We have many cousins by vision. And now, in the context of Manawag, marami rin ho tayong pinsan dahil sa tawag. And that voice came from our mother saying, Go to Jesus, my son. We are cousins because that voice does not select. When that voice speaks, it is heard by everybody. When that voice speaks, it does not shut down other ears and just opens other ears. When Our Lady calls, the, the call is for everybody, even among those who do not like her. In the year 2020, when we are asked to reach out to our brothers and sisters who are not members of our Catholic Church, we are asked to reach out to those who do not even believe in Jesus Christ. Let us remember that the voice of Our Lady is for everybody. Everybody who seeks deliverance from COVID, even if they do not honor Our Lady of the Rosary, is a cousin. Everybody who grieves, everybody who laughs, everybody praying for success in board exams, even if they do not believe in Jesus Christ, is a cousin. We actually have many cousins. Cousins not by blood, but cousins by voice. Cousins by call. Cousins by greeting. Because all of us have been visited by our mother and have been greeted by our mother and when we were greeted by our mother, even if we have no infant in our wombs, luksyo ng dugo, luksyo ng puso, luksyo ng dibdib, sapagkat alam mo, ang tinig na narinig mo ay tinig ng nanay mo. Dear lady, we are not able to walk with you in procession. We are not able to light our candles for you but in your goodness, you have visited us. Because you knew that Elizabeth was in need, you went out of your way to assist your cousin in her need. We who are not able to visit you in your home have been visited by you many times because you know that we are in need. Dear Lady, keep on visiting us. Stay with us because we know that when you stay with us, Jesus, your Son, will always be with us.